Okay, a little bit more on these gate drivers. Uh, and first, uh, if your iron was too hot and you screwed it up here, then it's possible uh, to solder on the back side. That's quite easy to find uh, new ways to connect the, the MOSFETs. And so, first thing uh, after I, you replace the MOSFET is okay to, to check the MOSFET. Uh, so it's uh, quite easy. So the, this is a low side and then the high side MOSFET and low side, high side, low side, high side. So you can begin with, with ground here to the left and then you should find uh, ground here. That's okay. You should not have a shortcut here to the middle pin, which is also here. Uh, can you see it? This one, that's nice. And then from uh, the middle pin, that's, you see, that's the middle pin. You go to the uh, motor cable and from the motor cable to the lower pin uh, of the high side MOSFET, then there should not be a, uh, should not be a shortcut from the uh, middle motor pin to the high side. And from the high side, you should end up at plus uh, volt here. Or you can go simply to the, to the uh, high side MOSFET. You see, all high side MOSFETs uh, share the same 36 to 42 volt. And then um, you should check that uh, no shortcut uh, between uh, the gate driver and uh, this middle pin. So here, that's a, uh, I can take this one. So that's okay. And that's okay. So it looks like this board would be running, but. <laughs> Well, yeah, it does a bit uh, because these two uh, um, faces are still driven, but uh, the gate driver here is burn has burned. So just to show you what to check, you see uh, here, nice uh, oscilloscope with a little lithium battery, cheap from China. And here, let's take the low side of a working bridge. So here, that's this 14 volt. For the low side and here that's the 14 volt plus 36 that's a uh, uh, um, charge pump here with these uh, 47 microfarad capacitors uh, more on this in a few seconds and yeah so you see here it's okay but here that's dead and so <laughs> this cable did not work and now if you start from the farthest uh, transistor away, then you can see here these 3.3 volt. It's either the, uh, oh, don't know. One of these two is a basis uh, and, and the output is, well, it's something like that. But it should be, you see, this is a working. So again, the 3.3 volt. Uh, of this NPN transistor, but the outside, well, that's here. And uh, as we have here, only this. Maybe the charge pump is not working. It's uh, don't really know how it does work. It's as I said, uh, I think this capacitor. And and so if you go on, then you will get some. Not the signals as they should be, because onward from from the first transistor, which is driven by the microcontroller, then you always have these uh, very high voltage uh, PVM signals. And so one of these two upper transistors probably blue. And if you take a closer look uh, at this one, uh, the, the contacts don't really look nice. And so the question I would like to ask, <laughs> you see, I've already salvaged a board here. There are these uh, three transistors each. And uh, is it possible here to, with this heat uh, flow, to heat them up, uh, pick them off and here unsolder them without unsoldering the, the capacitors and replacing them? You see, I'm no SMD expert at all. <laughs> 
But that's what you can check and then you uh, already know, okay, only these two little transistors and if you have another board, uh, probably uh, transistors will do the, work the same. You could uh, still try to repair this board. Um, okay, let's turn off this beeping noise and say a bit <laughs> ending words on why do these MOSFET uh, blow? Because uh, this time, of course, uh, it's again, it's my uh, lock saw, <laughs> so two 1000 uh, watt um, speaker motors and I uh, upgraded from a 36 volt 1000 watt power supply to a 3000 watt uh, 42 power supply. Cisco, Cisco 3000 uh, watt uh, on eBay, including shipping, uh, something like uh, 30 uh, euro, very cheap for, you can, um, Control it via I2C to um, uh, to charge a 48 volt battery or so 3000 watt a great great deal and of course yeah it's a bit <laughs> uh, might be a bit too much so it's again the question of how should I uh, could I make this so replacing this with better MOSFETs or uh, adding so this uh, protecting diode uh, but I noticed uh, that um, one cause of failure seems to be uh, when when and the cable here, one of the face cables uh, got loose. It's I think two times uh, when afterwards a uh, uh, board uh, uh, burned uh, that uh, the cable was loose. So this cable, I think that's a question for this firmware programmers. Uh, what could this be that if you see you can, the Emanuel firmware it detects if there's no hole sensors. You see this is the Emanuel Ferru. Our original test, uh, it, it doesn't check anything, and by now it's called Lucy's Rausch. So he did rename his uh, his GitHub uh, repository or for, uh, gave it to someone else. Uh, but it's of course hard to detect uh, if this here uh, motor is connected, because there's only one current sensor, one shunt sensor here, uh, I guess. Uh, and here for left side and right side. So uh, you, if, if two phases are still working, then you still have some current. So it's, I guess it's not possible to, to check if one cable uh, is loose and then maybe some uh, inductive um, problems. But the one thing, uh, you, I guess you should really take care that these motor, three motor uh, cables are 100% connected. And that might mean that I should, uh, um, remove this and it replaces for screw terminals. And the other thing is, uh, when I, I think the two second times, uh, that, that's this board, it went everything okay. I was finished with my thawing and then I simply turned off the motor. And uh, my code is one 1000 to zero in one step. And uh, yes, in the firmware you have a low pass, so um, that's uh, 1000 is getting <laughs> slowly down, but it seems to still be too fast. And so if you have a big motors like scooter motors or if you have still running downhill or and pulling the plug and this goes from the, from turning the command to, to zero, especially with a serial command, they can do this from 1000 to zero in one step. Uh, and so this uh, is the second thing I have this is experience, which uh, I can uh, burn this uh, Board, so uh, you should, uh, let's say, half a second uh, decreasing uh, to, to zero. You see, that's no problem. And yeah, okay, that's it. Again, if you have some ideas how to unsolder uh, these uh, little transistors, you see, and uh, <laughs> replace them with, with some others, I might like to do it uh, because by now I have so many <laughs> burned boards. Here, yeah, this is, I think. Uh, it really is the cable here. Uh, where is it? No, I've, I've cut it here. Uh, with this 3000 watt uh, power supply, uh, it's it's still really <laughs> provided a 50 amps, so the cable started to, 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 to turn into flames. Bye bye.